Psalm 41, prayer of a suffering, a sufferer deserted. Again, sometimes we are going through a rough time. We may have some relative in hospital, someone who is agonizing, going through some kind of pain. Psalm 41, we can read when we go to visit them. Blessed is anyone who cares for the poor and the weak. In time of trouble, Yahweh rescues him. Yahweh protects him, gives him life and happiness on earth. Do not abandon him to his enemy's pleasure. Yahweh sustains him on his bed of sickness. You transform altogether the bed where he lies sick. Yahweh does everything. What is happening? That in life, we feel that our lives should go one way. Sometimes the Lord allows sickness, suffering, and through the sickness and suffering, we give glory to God. Think of Job, well poised before God, a noble, great man, and all of a sudden he lost everything. But that did not make him discouraged. He maintained his fidelity before God. And because he maintained his fidelity before God, the master doubled his fortunes. So we may be going through some kind of sickness. Sure, we have to pray. Sure, we may lose a little hope. But we take courage from Psalm 41. For my, verse 4, for my part, I said, Yahweh, take pity on me. Cure me, for I have sinned against you. Take pity, cure me. Let's see what the other verses say. Verse 10 continues, But you, Yahweh, take pity on me. Put me on my feet, and I will give them their due. This will convince me that you delight in me. Blessed be Yahweh, the God of Israel, from eternity to eternity. You see, that's it. That even in sickness, chronic illness, whatever we may want to call it, we give praise and glory to God because that is our life. Giving glory to God every minute of our, of our existence. Because sickness, even we can say it, even death, form an integral part of life. Who are we to say we shouldn't get sick or we shouldn't be like that? Yahweh sends some, some things to us, we take it and we say, Lord, let me see how I can turn that into joy. And so we can say, Blessed be Yahweh, the God of Israel, from eternity to eternity. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.